Maypole Farm and we are up at the store. Um, we are in the process of baling the straw and we, or I would like to get a new small tractor. So we're going for the Z-Tour 627 45. This thing is only 10 grand. It is tiny. It is very cool. Um, I don't think I've used any Z-Tour stuff or Zettel, Zettel, Z-Tour. Um, in FS22, it's kind of a cool brand. I think they make some really cool old tractors. Um, I have not checked that this is the right vintage, but I think the look fits. So we are going to buy it. £10,500. An utter bargain. And I want it because we need a bale trailer that, to take the bales back to the yard. Obviously, um, we're going for the little Lizard G54. This thing is tiny. It is only two and a half grand. It is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, um, but it does the job. So yeah, and it's meant for round bales and we've got a square baler. So I have already bailed the headlands on the field uh, and so now come up to get the bale trailer. We also need to get some bale spikes, which we're going to do in a moment, which is why the fear is here as well. And um, this is quite a long video um so it is again a mixture of time lapsed and real time stuff um because it's a lot longer it might be that the video is every other day it depends there might be just a bit random as to when i get them finished basically now um, we're going to go for the pbce 58 bale forks um these things are extendable so you can extend the two bars at the back they are not brilliant, I will be honest. Um, and after this video, I do swap them because I find that they don't seem to... The bales seem to like to explode off them a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's because they're a folding bale fork or not, but yeah. It's not a brilliant experience, I am going to admit. And we're also going to grab a rear weight. Just This is quite a beefy tractor anyway, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. But um, we are going to grab the 1500 kilo um brand beginning with t 10 winkle um thought about getting it in a color but we're just going to go for jet black because uh, it goes with everything doesn't it uh, i don't think we need it for the fit because we're only going to be picking up two or three bales at a time but yeah so up at the field the little z tour is so cool i love this little tractor and so I am a couple of episodes ahead at this point. And yeah, this is a fun little tractor to use. So not very powerful, but you know, trying to keep the uh, the costs low and the kit of the right sort of era. So the uh, I don't know if the beta is or not. The look fits. Um, basically, it's completely random that I've ended up using old kit, but I'm going with it now. Um, so I think this fit is early 90s um 80s or 90s i did google it but it's been a while and i've sort of forgotten so what i'm looking at using is kit that's really around the 80s i think uh, or older um so that's what we're going to go for with this i think it'll be kind of cool that means no gps thanks for pointing out that gps uh, peter that gps was a thing in the 90s so yeah no gps for me um not going to be a problem because I don't think we're going to expand beyond these three fields. Um, if you are on Patreon, you will have seen that I have asked a poll for some things just to decide how we take this series forwards. Um, and once I've got the results of those, I will share those with people. Um, but yeah, the, the, the obviously at the moment with the laptop being broken, the guys on Patreon are not getting the exclusive Let's Play series. Um, so just getting their thoughts on how we should take this one forwards uh, appreciate the answers to all the previous ones i am going to harvest the root crops on here um and in fact i am part way through digging harvesting digging the potatoes for video number five so yeah you can tell i'm a little bit ahead even though i've had a really nice weekend away or night away uh, for our wedding anniversary which was really cool oh uh, yeah i thought I'd both headlands first we didn't get very i think three bales off of the headlands but they just meant that then had a clear run to uh, bale the rest of the field and, and we're not going to get that many bales off here you know this wasn't a high yielding field with uh precision farming and nothing being done on it basically 
Um, but it gets us a start. <laughs> Not sure when we're actually going to get the cows to put in those very empty, sad looking cow sheds. Um, we need some grass basically because we need to make some hay or and or some silage. Well, we can't do all silage because we can't just feed silage, so we need some hay and we need at least hay, that's what I'm trying to say. But I would like to do some silage as well. I'm probably going to bale it all um, if I can find. Don't know. Because I think I'm going to struggle to find an old bale wrapper. So we might end up having to do silage in a pit. Um, and get an old forage wagon to pick it up with. Um, not sure if I'm going to do any corn on here to uh, to do corn chopping with. We there is the um, the S two hundred or two thousand. When I think when I say S two thousand, I think Honda S two thousand. Um, the New Holland bale, uh, the New Holland forage harvester that I use on Carmston, that is an option that we could have on here. That would work perfectly, I think. Um, but yeah, we could do some corn for silage, but I think with only three fields, I think we're going to do grass and probably barley and oats on the other two. Um, depending on how much grass we get, because what I'm planning to do is I am going to, once this field is cleared, we're going to um, sort out the precision farming on it, and we are then going to go into planting this with grass. And if we get a silly amount off it, I might plant it with a crop in the spring. I don't know. Um, precision farming wise in the next video i'm going to cover how i'm going to tackle precision farming without you know gps and uh all of the the elements of modern precision farming that make it precision farming but i want the mechanics so we're going to be doing some unprecise farming i'm not sure that's the right word but it's what I, how i think of it in my head we're doing unprecise farming so i'm going to i am using precision farming we're not going to be making use of the technology that makes precision farming what it is in 2022 or 2021 or whenever it came about. So no RTK accurate GPS or any of that cool stuff. But, you know, I like the fact that precision farming makes you worry about nitrogen and pH levels properly. So we're going to tackle it. Um, as I've mentioned before, I sort of did it on um, Bergeisland on FS19, but I did take advantage of things like GPS, but I was doing more, much more manual control of the application rate, and that's pretty much how I'm going to tackle it on here. And you'll see it in the next video. Um, I'm not sure when that's going to come out, because it depends how I get all the commentaries recorded. It's eh, recording a 35 minute commentary, it obviously takes a lot longer than recording a 15 minute commentary, and then the render time on this old laptop is painful um it's at least double what it is on the new laptop it was one of the big things i remember when i got my new laptop how nice it was rendering videos and how quick it was and now i'm reminding how long it takes on this old one so yeah that is something that is hampering things a little bit but i'm getting to play fs so that's kind of cool um, Friday, I am going to be doing a, a video on my favourite mods, or kind of my must-have mods. I think it'll be Friday when that comes out. Um, I had planned to do that anyway. I grabbed the list off the old lap, off the new laptop before it went back to be repaired, and it should be one that's not too taxing on the computer to record. So probably the Friday, I think that'll be. Um, certainly this week, sometime. Um, I'm just going to try and balance between doing the videos on here because this is fun to play um, and the uh, some tutorial videos as I come up with ideas uh, I am planning so someone someone commented on the last video when I asked and I think it's a really good idea I want to revisit course play and um, so much has changed since I did those really early ones you know, even the interface has changed so I think we might do a a kind of a, a new look at all of the basics of how course play works I think that'll be a uh, probably a good idea um still want to do the universal auto load one as well um and i think i think we should be okay to run that on here uh, we've been playing about with giants editor a bit over the weekend and it seems to cope with small things okay so just a case of finding time to actually make the video now because uh, things are pretty busy at the moment what else have we got going on? So the next video, I uh, say thank you to uh, to Cavalier for sending it to me. We're going to be on the test version of Maple, which fixes some of the issues with the map. Um, so Rob, you mentioned bailing contracts not working. It's been fixed. Um, 
I have not tested it myself but the the next video is recorded on the version of the map with that fixing Cavalier reached out to me and sent me the updated version of the map which is really cool um, I really appreciate that and yeah I'm running that next time and it is not a, it doesn't require a new save I mean, one feature does but I have not done I've just dropped it in and it's working fine for me um, so that's really cool really nice to get an early copy of that um, and for him to let me use it and share with you guys so that's the next video is going to have the new version of the map hopefully the sound balance is better this time um, I think the game sound might have been a little bit quiet for some of you I struggle with that because you know, I don't play with game sound on so when I'm recording this stuff although you get game sound I do not have sound on um, so yeah I'm trying to find the balance there as to how loud to make the vehicles just going to say a quick thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members a couple recent couple additions to the YouTube channel members and really do appreciate you guys supporting the channel um, so we had Robert join a little while ago and Noel joined yesterday or today yesterday I think um, so I yeah, appreciate you guys supporting the channel um, particularly when things are not at their normal uh, yeah, very much appreciated. I have today submitted a new mod to Mod Hub to deal with the problem that um, I'm, I've mentioned. Sure, I've mentioned it before, and I've mentioned it on Discord, and I've had a couple of comments. So as we go into the time lapse um, about the the BGA, my BGA, and in fact, it's all BGAs except for the modular BGA not working with the generators for the modular BGA since they updated it. They don't work because um, the guys that, that created the modular BGA using a bunch of now new fill types in between the different modules. And so the BGA doesn't produce the same type of electric charge to send to the generators, so they don't work. So I've got a, a new mod that's gone off to Mod Hub, which does something similar, but um, and hopefully that will uh, we'll get through testing and uh, deal with that gap that's there now so, so it's just been submitted today on tuesday it's probably going to be a couple of weeks it'll probably fail testing because all of my mods fail testing the first time because i'm new at this you know um but hopefully they'll uh, it'll get through testing and they'll let it be released um if not i'll release it on somewhere like King mods um because, you know, it's kind of taking the idea of the generator from the modular BGA pack. I've, I've set it up differently, but it really is, you know, creating the same function. So I do understand that there is a chance that Giants won't want it to be released, but we'll see. Um, we'll see how that goes. Getting through the bailing pretty quickly, obviously, because I've sped things up. Um, and hopefully I can edit that, re-edit that together because I'd left in me reloading the game which you don't need to see it's one of the you have already spoken about it so just finishing up the bailing here and um, we got 28 bales off of this field which is not bad i did them as the 220 centimeter rather than the 240 i normally always just do the biggest i can and i thought i wouldn't here um i thought it would make it easier fitting them on the trailer turns out it's not because i can't fit that many on anyway but um, yeah, so I've just had to edit, re-edit some bits out of the video and uh, that is because it's quite hard to edit on this old laptop, um, particularly in the time-lapse footage, which that was. Um, the laptop struggles to do the live display of the video footage and uh, yeah, I, I left in, basically I went out of the game to add um, Pro Shot in, which is what I used to get a lot of my thumbnails and uh, had not stopped recording. So, yeah, we'll be going back and editing that out. Yeah, but yeah, now on to some bale stacking. So one of the things that I am intending to do on here is not use auto load because in the 80s, they probably didn't have auto load, you know? I don't know. I'm guessing they didn't have auto load. I'm not planning to use all of the, you know, modern automated bale stackers. I know there were probably bale accumulators. The Ollie Blogs had a really cool video showing an old, um, the, I think it was the New Holland D1000 type baler with a bale accumulator. Could go that route, but I'm going to go for, because I quite enjoy it most of the time, manual bale stacking. 
Um, and because I'm doing things slower, I think it works. I a sped up footage of bale stacking, I don't think works very well because for me, I move the camera around quite a lot generally. Um, just because it's really hard to get the kind of proper perspective on where things are in the game. Right. Sorry, the, uh, the video playback just kind of paused there. Hopefully that's not in the actual video. Um, I think it's just the laptop struggling to keep up with everything. Yeah, I find I move the camera a lot more when I am manually bail stacking. And if you speed the, that footage up, it gets a bit too twitchy, I find. Which is why I do it less in my normal stuff. But with this new slower format, I think we can uh, probably do a little bit more manual bail work. Um, but as I said earlier on, these bail forks have some issues. I think it's because they're folding ones. Um, and I do swap them after the video for the next time we need to do bail stacking, but they sort of work, but they, they have a tendency of bouncing off the bail, which is kind of frustrating when you're trying to manually stack bales. Um, but yeah, we can get 12 on the trailer at the time, so it's going to be basically two loads on the trailer. I wonder with how close to the field we are, whether it would have been quicker to single handle them rather than load them on the trailer, take them off the trailer and stack them, whether it would have been quicker to stack them in threes and drive them to the farm. Uh, especially if I took the hedge out that joins the, uh, where the where the yard is to come straight into this field. Definitely an option, you can do that on Maypole, you can cut hedges down, so... Uh, very tempting, particularly when this is a grass field. Uh, something else that I will probably do, and that means we might need more land, is, there we go, just extending those uh, back poles, is put some open animal pastures in some of these once we get a bigger herd. Um, so we can put 45 in each pen, I think, which probably means I'll put in 22 so that they can have calves. So we don't have a lot of animals on the farm. And that might mean that we want to, for the calves that are growing up, put them in an open pasture, a bit like I did am doing on Greenlands. Um, and if you watch the streams with the alien pool, you might know why I will be doing that. Yeah. And if you didn't, go back and watch it, and you might find out why I'm planning to do that. Um, yeah, so just getting these bales stacked on the trailer now, and then uh, we'll get them put in the shed. So I am also thinking, if I, as I just said, I submitted an, um, the, this, the new mod, which is called the BGA Network Distributor. Look for it in the testing list. Um, and I'm thinking about doing an update to the two BGAs that I have to include a really cheaty version. Um, so the dairy, there's having the cheaty version in the dairy seems quite popular. It has been downloaded way more than most of my mods. Um, and I know the two BGAs that I have are slightly cheaty, but I'm thinking about putting really cheaty versions into the packs. Um, so, you know, for the, the, the mini BGA, probably double the capacity, double the speed, something like that. And for the industrial one, probably four times. So it's going to be really fast and really big um, for those large scale farming things that people like doing. Um, the, the the BGA distributor has a GT version in it and they, they just seem popular. Now, if you want to play that fast kind of gameplay, I generally don't, but people do. And there's no wrong way to play farm sim unless you're not farming, that's wrong. So maybe there is a wrong way. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you want to play that way, I uh, am happy to make mods that help cater to that because it makes my mods more popular. Um, I was really surprised actually how many comments I had on older videos asking about why the distributors had stopped working. Um, which says a lot of other people are using them, I guess. So yeah, that's kind of cool. I'm just looking here to see whether I could strap the bales on or not. It feels like maybe you should be able to. Um, but you can see they're bouncing quite a lot. And that's why I want to get rid of these bale forks. Um, bouncing is... Yeah. I'm trying to play this 
as realistically as I play farm sim. Um, and that bouncing makes it really tricky because occasionally the bales will just explode off and fall over. Um, and that's quite frustrating. So, yeah. Um, in fact, you'll see it as we start to unload the bales. But that's as many as we are going to fit on here, I think. So, let's get them unloaded. So, the yard is not as level as I thought it was. Um, placing one of the sheds has given us a big divot here. Which I'm going to try and level out a bit, but don't do particularly well at. I hadn't actually noted it until I started trying to do things around the yard with a little bit of precision. I actually think it would be better to have the loader on the Z tour. Not sure why I call it a Z tour. Because I should probably say Z tour. But I think because it's smaller, it's going to be more maneuverable. And I think it might be better. But at the moment, the cost of that is probably prohibitive because the front, the stall front loader we have is too big. So we'd need to get a small one, and I'm not even sure the smallest ones are small enough because it's a really small tractor. Um, so if you've got a link to a really small front loader that would fit it, I think it only has um, a, a quickie or a Hawa console. Um, then yes, let me know because I, I think this this tractor is a bit big for doing a lot of bail loading work. Um, the other thing I'm pondering is the Merlot steel, although it costs a lot. See, this is what I mean about bales exploding. Um, I think the Turbo Farmer would be quite handy on here. It looks like it's the right sort of age to me, I think. Um, and I guess the old JCB loader would be nice, but all the versions of that that are available are private, so not really an option. Um, but yeah, I think something smaller for the loader work would be good. And I think there's a Zettel would be a good option for that um, you know for doing doing stuff around the yard once we get a feed mixer we're probably going to need to put that on the Fiat rather than the Zeta so unless we get a really small feed mixer um, I'm probably going to use the um, the Wazzy bale shredders they may not be the right vintage but you know, some things I'm not going to be able to get that are old enough and I think they fit with kind of the scale of the farming we're doing on here and they're quite cheap, so I'm probably going to use one of those. That probably won't go on the Zeta, to be honest. But I think you can use it on a three-point. Maybe it would. Uh, yeah, I think that's because I think VF used one on the three-point on a tractor when he did Attigan Park in FS19. So maybe that's in FS22 as well. Um, and a bunch of you are excited about Attigan Park coming. Um, I never played it in FS22. I looked at it. Um, I almost used it for some tutorials. Um, I almost did some, you know, some videos of, around the animal pens and stuff, but I never played it. Um, so it's definitely going to be one that gets added to the list for future saves. Um, I am very aware that I am very much a guy who plays UK maps and want to try and get away from that so i have um a, a maze plus series that i'm working on for when maze plus releases that's on gelderland um, and if i get my laptop back in time i'll keep producing that um if not i'm gonna have to do something else for maze plus content when maze plus comes out and we might pick a different map that's not a uk map um, unless attingham park comes out and maybe we could do attingham park maze plus I don't know how well Attingham will run on here. And Gelderland is an option still. I think I've said before that pack, that save uses the Kubota pack, which I don't have on here. So I'm um, just going to wait and see. Um, I have not heard anything on the status of the laptop yet, other than it was received on Friday. And then in the UK, we went into a bank holiday weekend. So not much happening on that front. Hopefully here this week. But there you go, you can see exploding bales again. Um, and it's definitely the bale fork. Because bale physics are so much better in FS22. Um, there's a reason. I'm just seeing if I can go 6 high. But I don't think so. I could probably go 5 high. Um, but not 6. So when we get a bigger yield off of here. We might want to go 5 high. 
stacking bales in the shed and um, we've got plenty of shed space at the moment so i'm not worried about just doing a three high um but yeah it, it's the bale forks the bale physics in fs22 is pretty good now um and my guess is it's because it's a folding one and it's got lots of moving bits on it uh, can't remember which one i replace it with but i think it has less features it's much more basic might be the Bristol and Lund one that I use on Calmston, I think. I can't remember. You'll see it when we get around to doing some bio work, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, next video we're going to be working in the field we've just harvested. Um, so we'll be sorting out the pH, the nitrogen, and we'll be planting some grass. And hopefully we can use a mixture of tractors for that. That was the actually the video that prompted my mulching question. Because if, if you haven't guessed, I forgot to mulch the field. I'm really bad at remembering mulching. Rolling I'm better at, mainly because the map tells me it needs rolling. Um, mulching I suck at. Definitely suck at that. So yeah. Um, and actually the poles have been really interesting. Um, I'm planning to, I think I said in the last video, I'm planning to pay attention to the results to those um they were really just drive some engagement on the channel but actually i'm learning that people prefer this slower gameplay they generally like seasons and precision farming um dairy cow so that's all good because that's all things that i like doing um and yeah so i'm, I'm trying to listen to them and trying this new longer format slower content we'll see how it goes recording the gameplay is fine talking for this long is quite challenging i'm finding uh, and probably what i'll do is break that up in the future and just at the point today where i don't have time to do that so what i'm going to do now is go and get all these bales i'm just going to try and level this bit of land out first and then going to go and get all those bales stacked into threes in the field and we'll get them loaded up and in fact i've done the bale stacking as if by magic um and yes yeah, so we've got three four stacks of three and then there's two stacks of two left in the field so we'll put these on the trailer and then we will put see exploding bales um we'll take the other ones over just with the tractor i won't bother putting the the last four on the trailer um, the double handling i think is not worth the effort when we're so close to the yard that um, yeah, it got to the point where I was recording this where I was thinking you've probably got way too much video and uh, and I, I can vary it as I edit it because I record the game sound for everything anyway. Um, I just try and do things slightly differently when I'm planning to time lapse. So I try not to move the camera as much, which can sometimes make it harder to do the jobs, but makes it a better watching experience, if that makes sense. So I've parked in a slightly different spot now, so I think it's on flat ground. I could not get rid of that lump. I think it's where I placed the this shed in front of me. Uh, if you're wondering about the traffic cones, the easy way you get rid of those is you go into Giant's Editor and you push them under the ground. Um, why would you have those in a mod? Um, why would you have traffic cones that reappear in the same place every time you reload the game when they're in the way? That makes no sense to me. Um, so yeah, I just went into Giant's Editor and pushed them under the ground. They are in... they're not in the barn i3D. They're in the barn... Um, decorations or something like that. If you want to know how to do it, drop me a comment and I'll maybe put a quick video together. Because um, it was really simple to fix and for me those were really annoying. I don't want to have to move them every time I load the game. You know, to record this video I've probably reloaded four times means four times I've got to move those cones out of the way and put them somewhere. Instead, they're under the ground. They're gone. They've probably fallen down to infinity by now. Um, yeah, so if you want to know how I did that, drop a comment below and I will put together a quick video on uh, how to do that kind of thing. Now, I know there are loads of videos about on how to do it, but sometimes people like mine. So, so they like the style of tutorial that I try and do. Um, yeah. But yeah, recording for 30, 
plus minutes is uh, is quite tricky i'm finding because i've just had to have a break and uh i was perusing king mods and uh yesterday on discord we were chatting about or yeah, chatting about the, the version of the northern coast that has started appearing on there. It's on there for its second time. Uh, just had a look at it, and it has my Geo in it. Well, it has the Geo that I sent Oxy to use in Calmston. Now, do you think they asked permission to use that or not? Now, my view is that is not a legitimate convert of the northern coast. I cannot imagine that Green Bale would have given permission for someone who won't even put their name against it. They call themselves Anonymous Farmer. They have no other mods on uh, King Mods to give them permission to convert the Northern Coast and then only release it on third party sites and not on Mod Hub. Um, the fact that it's on King Mods is just on King Mods and not on Mod Hub is a red flag to me. Um, and then I'd seen someone comment that they were using lots of Calmston stuff in it, which again, doesn't credit Oxy in that. Um, and then I downloaded it because I wanted to have a look. And yeah, it has my Geo in it. It has the Geo that I sent to Oxy um, with his edits to add linseed in. So I'm guessing they've stolen Oxy's linseed textures as well. Um, yeah. Don't imagine it'll be on King Mods long. I've reported it because they've used my stuff without asking and Unlike the last guy who did that, I'm fed up of that, so I'm going to report it everywhere I see it, because, yeah, don't steal people's stuff, ask. Um, I yeah, clearly it's getting a lot of that, oh, bugger, and Eddie said something else then. Um, that one was not the bail forks, that was a problem between the keyboard and the chair, otherwise known as an ID10 Terra. Just gonna go and get the other bales from the field and now we'll deal with this so there were two more bales in the field and i needed a break before i tackled this last a little bit um yeah so if you're excited about the northern coast being on fs22 please don't download it um please have some uh please think before you download things like that king mods is normally a good site and it was uploaded once and it was taken down in less than a day I am expecting that that one will be taken down as well. It will probably appear on shitty best farm sim mods ever dot whatever. And, you know, if you choose to use those sites, that's your choice. But, yeah, you're not supporting Greenvale at all by using that map. Um, and I don't know if Greenvale's doing anything. He's pretty quiet on social media and stuff. But, yeah. Even if he is, you're not supporting the guy who, you know, put a lot of time and effort into building a map and someone's done a dodgy convert stealing stuff from Oxy. And, uh, yeah, that's my little rant about that. I had literally run out of things to talk about, went and saw that, went and saw that it was still on King Mods, downloaded it to have a look and saw that it has my growth file in it. Um, there are some distinctive features in that file, which mean I can check that it's mine or not. Um, so yeah, that's the end of that. We've got these bales restacked. Um, you can see even now they're really bouncing on the bale fork, and it's, it's the bale fork. It's got to be. Um, so yeah, we are going to replace that after this video. But right now, I am going to say thanks for watching, folks. If you got this far, thank you. Uh, click the like button. Uh, comment, leave me a comment below and if you've got this far and you're not already please subscribe to the channel and I will catch you next time on Maple Farm.